everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful Christmas card. This is using the Paper Discovery Builder Door scene, one of those, you'll see it all in a moment anyway. And it's just, I love how this has come together. Now this is my second attempt, I will show you the, yeah, the failed um, first attempt, but you just open up the doors and then you've got a little Christmas scene inside. I'm still going to add some glitter, I think it needs a little bit of sparkle or some shine in there. And uh, but yeah, look at it, look at the front, you've got all that lovely hardware look with the door handles. It's just so lovely, I've got that lovely it's Christmas time sentiment on the top there. But let me just show you, so this was the first one I'd done, it looked brilliant and then I added this snow and the snow just went so wrong. Now I did use my homemade embossing paste, which I use all the time, I love it. But what I didn't anticipate was the red, I actually distressed this red cardstock with a darker red. Now that has slowly been bleeding through and can you see it's just started to come around all the edges there and then there was a brown because there's a brown cardstock under this although you can't see it, it was more to give it strength and I distressed that but it's actually started to go yellow as it's been kind of bleeding into the embossing paste and it's just a hot mess and then I decided to put some of my artificial snow on the top thinking maybe that'll cover everything up. No, it looks even worse. So I don't think there's much to salvage, possibly the the picture inside. So yeah, I was a bit gutted but then it was a learning curve so now I know. I'm glad I've kind of done it now because I'm going to be using the, um, well I was going to be using the embossing paste for a bigger project so I'm really glad that I you know, I kind of found out now um, before I got to that. So I think I prefer not using the snow for this for me, but I know that Olga, she uses it in hers and it looks fantastic. So I think I just need to get the proper kind of stuff because she does use a snow text, I think it is that she uses. Now I do have this, which is the Cosmic Shimmer Fluffy stuff, but you have to apply a, quite an intense amount of heat. And if you add too much heat to this, it's just gonna warp. So I didn't wanna use it on cards. I'd rather use that on more of my 3D projects. So yeah, that was my kind of bit of a lesson learned there. But nonetheless, it, I mean, from a distance, actually looking through the monitor, it doesn't look too bad. But in person, it, it doesn't look that great. So um, you'll see they've slightly got it different. I've got the, the lamppost in that one. This is the one I'm gonna be showing you how to make. I'll talk through everything that I've done. It's really, really fun. If you love detailed dyes and doing all these little fiddly bits like this, then you're really gonna enjoy these ones. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so for this one, I'm using the Paper Discovery. So this is Paper Discovery stamp set. And this is the scene here, which I'll be stamping and coloring later. I'm using one of the embossing folders. This one here, so you can buy two. These all coordinate together, but I'm gonna use this one again because I just love all the detail in that one. And then I'm using the Door Builder set. So this is all the dies. It's lovely. I know lots of you already have the Paper Discovery. She's done lots of other dies before. And it's just so detailed. If you love spending time and doing all the details right down to little door handles there, then you're really gonna enjoy these. I've already done the other one that she has, the little, you build a scene, you've got the Christmas tree and the living room and, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna be sharing that tutorial with you shortly. But that's what I'm using today. So what I've gone ahead and done, because I don't want this to be a very, very long tutorial, is I've gone ahead and cut everything, but I haven't distressed anything yet. So what I've done is I want this to be on a, it's a large six by eight card. So this is a piece of A4 folded in half or letter paper folded in half. You're looking at that kind of size. However, you don't have to, you can have it just this size here and actually cut your outer frame here as your card. So you just offset this left hand side and it would keep the side of your card intact here. So that would be the fold, but you'd have that dome there. So you can have it that size if you want, but I thought I wanna do create that kind of house in the back here. So I've got this kind of wood effect here and I just love the bigger kind of card for this because I think you need it with the street lamp and the the trees and everything here. So I've gone ahead and cut all that out in here. So you see what I mean? There's lots of little bits, tiny, tiny pieces in there. So I thought rather than me going right now, you need to cut this, now you need to cut that. I thought I'll just, you know, start here. So choose what colors you want. So I've gone for this lovely rich blue this time and I'm gonna distress this a little bit as well. So I've already gone ahead and cut the door and that's using the frame and the detail. So it's this one here, which gives you all that detail and cuts out the window, and then this is the frame, okay? Now, what you wanna do then, if you want to have this detail, is you need to run it through your embossing folder. So I thought I'd show you how you do it, is you just sit it inside, and there's the circle in the middle here. I just use that there, 
and then these windows to make sure I've got everything lined up and it, it does it sits in there perfectly and you know you've got the right gap there on each side and then you just pop the top over and you can also see there that you're within the frame and everything of the detail so I'm just going to run that one through okay so if I just lift that off look at all that wonderful detail absolutely stunning so now we can take that out and that's our door all ready to go. Now I want to have my little Christmas scene behind that so I'm just going to pop that to one side for the minute and I'm just going to show you this piece here. Now the thing that I love that Olga does with her dies, who is the lady behind Paper Discovery, you can find her on YouTube as well so do go and check her out because she's got some amazing tips and tricks so I've picked up some of those. So this piece here, if you sit this over the top, okay, so pop it back into your die again after you've cut it and then I'm just bringing in my mat here. What you can do, so I want to use a, a darker blue on this. Okay, so I've just got a real dark navy here. And then what I'm going to do is with the die over the top, all these lovely details here are for you to be able to use the die as your stencil. So I'm just going to go over now and cover all of this. Okay, so I've covered all that, so be careful when you take it off probably gone a bit too heavy with some of it but you can see there how lovely is that you've got all that detail and obviously once this is now all on the door and it's got everything else I'm gonna have a wreath on there it's gonna come together and look really lovely so that is how you can use your dies as stencils so probably don't go as heavy as I did there but I'm just gonna quickly get this cleaned up okay so that's that done next you can cut the same shape of this kind of top piece of the door but just the frame so you have the detail there and then you have the frame they both cut out completely though so this doesn't just cut into your cardstock it does also cut it out with this piece here I want to create the stained glass look now with the um, coordinating stamp set you get these stamps here so I've already done this one here because I thought once you see me do one you don't need to see me do both but these are ready now to go behind the door and I've done the yellow because I want it to look like that's the light on inside the house. So once it lines up, they do line up perfectly, like so. Okay, so I want to keep that same yellow throughout, but the easiest way to do this one here, use the detail piece that you die cut and pop it over the top there. And then just with a pencil, you just want to draw around. I'm just drawing around like the tops and sides, not the whole thing, just enough for you to be able to line it up and then you'll be able to rub that out then what you want to do is get your stamp so I've already got my stamp ready here so this is that smaller one and we're going to stamp into all of this now I've been using my Nouveau hybrid this is the black shadow because you can use you know watercolors or your markers with it so it's just easy I don't have to think about it and then I'm just going to go along now and just very carefully stamp in each of those sections Oh, I didn't do too bad with that one. The other one I was a bit off. Okay, so I'm just going to do that with the others. Then I'm just going to go over, make sure it's completely dry, and just rub out any pencil lines if you can see them. Then you can now line this back up, and it should. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now I want to colour them. So I was kindly sent these by Crafter's Companion to try, and it's the new... And these are the classic markers by Spectrum Noir and this is the brights and I thought oh I'm going to use them within this so the yellow I've been using is from this one here and it's the sunshine so I'm just going to go and do all my yellow and then I think I'm going to keep it the same colours here so I've used the red which is this one here it looks a bit pinky I didn't realise it was red but when it comes out it is actually well you can see there it is a nice red colour so they're the two I'm going to use so I'm just going to put this on high speed and quickly colour this in Okay, so I'm happy with that. So next I want to stick that to this piece here. So I'm just going to add some glue, probably actually to the back of this rather than that because at least you know that this is the bit that's actually going to be sticking down. You might get your glue in places you, you know, it'd be seen. So I'm just going to just lightly pop some around there and then just sit this over the top. I've got a few white areas, but I think what I'm going to do, just so it's not obvious to the eye, 
you see where I'm slightly off there and I'm just going to go in with that yellow again there we go you wouldn't even you wouldn't notice now okay so that's the top of my door already and you can see how this is all going to start to come together and then we've got these pieces here so I might as well put these on as well now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these down a little bit thinner enough so there's a border for me to add the glue and then I'm going to cover it again in some blue card because I don't want you to see this white when you open the door now you do get the pieces that come out of this here but if you want to stamp just within that small area then by all means do so with some white you could die you could die cut it again in white so you have a white piece to stick over the top with your stamp and then you can just paper piece them in so you have you know you'd have to still have something to attach it for me it's just a bit easier to just attach like this I'm just going to cut some blue and just put it over there. It will also strengthen my door. I think I'll cut two strips of this. Okay, so now we've got the door coming together here. Okay, next I want to do the scene inside. So this is the one here. Okay, you can see it also looks nice if you do it in a lighter, almost like a grey colour and you can have it as almost a watermark inside the card. So if you do it really lightly you could actually end up writing over it, so that looks really nice. But I'm going to use, again, this Nouveau here, so I'm just going to do that on some white card. Okay, ignore that it's on a circle, that's just <laughs> a piece of scrap that I had. So I'm just going to give that a few seconds to dry and then I'm going to start colouring that in. Okay, so that's coloured in. It's coloured in very basic. I haven't really done any kind of shading. I've just done some same colour shading. So I've just used my marker and just gone over, you know, more in one area with the same brown just to give a little bit of depth. Same with the pillows there. That's the same purple. I've just gone around the outside and I have showed that before in one of my marker tutorials. You don't need to have you know, five, six different greens to get a blend. You can do it just with one pen. So that's just very, very basic. What I might just quickly do actually is just do this tree a little bit more. So it's not the cleanest of lines. Right, that's better. So now I want to cut it from this piece here. Okay, and don't worry if it doesn't quite meet. I mean, like I said, I've got the circle because if you put your door over, you can see what's actually going to be seen and it actually all just covers it perfectly. So I'm going to run this one through my machine. Okay, so now I've got this piece and then I'm going to grab this and I'm going to add my glue to the back of this piece here because it's easier because it's got you've got that quite thin strip there. And then just go up the sides and then I'm just going to line up Hold the doors that way, there we go, that's easier. Do the top first. And then you can just kind of move it around. Okay, now I want to start sticking some of these elements down. So I'm going to stick my door onto here. Before I do that, I do want to distress this up a little bit actually. So I have got my brown and I'm using this one here, chocolate chip. And I just want to go around and just just darken up the edges. You're not going to see much of the inside, but I just wanted to give it a bit of a, a distressed edge. Okay, and also when you stick this on here, there will be a gap just through here. So I want to add a little bit more. Just through there, just so it all ties in. So now I want to stick this on here. So I'm going to start using this glue now because it is, I'm going to say it's like a hardener because it does, it just really, really strengthens everything. So I'm going to stick this onto here. 
especially if you're just using this as the card base. See, I'm going to be sticking this again onto something more, but if you're just going to have this, then I would say make sure you've got a nice strong glue. Okay, and then this one here. Okay, so now we've got that scene inside and the doors that close. Now we've got the fun part of adding all the accessories and this is what really brings it all together. So first of all, I'm gonna add, let's just tip this out so I can actually see everything. We'll do the trees in a minute because I didn't know whether to have one or two or whether to do the lamppost again. I'm thinking this time I'm gonna just have this one, just the two trees, we'll see. So I have gone and cut everything for that. Right, so you get, your knockers, so I've cut two knockers out, you get these panels and you get these circles and you also get a swirly bit that goes on the circle. I've not done that one because it's just a bit too tiny for me but it is there so I'm going to pop one over that there. Okay and then you've got these circles here so I'm going to pop my other ones over those. I should be using my little pickup tool which would be much much easier. Okay, and then I want to add my little kind of handle, pl um, the plates, sorry. So I've got this one, it's going to go there, and then that one there. And it's when you start to add these that it really starts to all come together. I think that looks so lovely. And then you have your door handle. So you can have the knocker, you could have the knockers on the, no you wouldn't have a knocker on glass would you, that wouldn't be the best thing. I mean I have I did do on the other one, I put the knockers over there because that's how Olga had it in one of hers, but for this one I'm going to put the door handles. So I would say that looks like keyholes at the bottom, so I'm going to do this one here. There we go. I'll buff that off the mirrored cardstock where there's a bit of glue on there, but look at the handles. Doesn't that look cool? I love this. So the knockers, I think what I'm going to do is have them down on this bit here. I think that's going to work quite well. So I'm going to pop a little bit of glue and I'll put one there. Might as well go all out. Let's throw everything on. The nice thing about this is that you can use these, you know, in lots of ways so it's entirely up to you where you want to put them but I think that looks quite good. So there we go, let's bring that up again. Okay so you've got the knockers there, you've got your door handles and then that piece there. But you could have the doors shut and have the wreath kind of hanging as well on this because you don't have to have this open, you don't have to have that seam behind there or anything like that. Okay so then I've got these here I'm going to just dress these up a bit, but I quite like the thought of having tree in its pot either side. And you have the little bit there. See, so I think that looks nice, or I go for that option again of having the... Mm, see, I do really like that. No, I'm going to do one and one. <laughs> that was easily changed. So, what I've done is I die cut it in this kind of gun metal. It's got a shine to it because I thought this is a lamppost that's outside and they've got that obviously metal look. And then I die cut it again but I reduced the pressure so I just took one of the shims out of my mini machine just so it didn't actually punch the centre pieces out. You see they're still all in there. And now what I'm able to do is just colour right over this. So I want to colour all of those bits in yellow because that's going to be the lights. So once we stick this behind the lamppost it will look like the light's on. And then on the back of this, again, it's very delicate, but because this is going to be stuck against the card, it will all strengthen. So I'm just going to pop little bits of glue. And then you just want to stick each one behind each light. Now the street light looks like it's lit up. Then these are the bits that cut out as well. You can paper piece different colours, but I'm going to keep the same. So I've got those bits there. I should have another bit 
which I will find in a minute. But what I'm going to do is I want to strengthen the whole thing. I'm just going to cut this into a very thin strip. And this will just act as a reinforcement going down through this here. Okay, so by sticking that behind, you're able to paper piece back on top. Like I said, I'm not going to change the colour. I'm just keeping mine as a solid, this solid kind of grey colour. So I'm just going to paper piece those same pieces back in again. And that one is somewhere, but I've lost it. So I will sort that out later. But now I'll probably have it a bit more like there. When I stick it on the card, that's going to look really nice. And then with these, I just distress them the same way that I did before. So with this one with the brown, I'm just going to pick up the brown that's already on there. I don't really want to change its colour so much, I just want to highlight the outside. So you can just see there. Okay, and then I'm going to use a green and do the same for this one here. Okay, so it just kind of brings that, gives it a little bit of shape. And then for this one, you get this, which is your stem. So it doesn't really matter how you do this. I just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of that one and just stuck it behind. Because I don't want it very tall. I think you've got, the reason why it's so long is because you can have, you don't have to have the stem on this at all. You could have it right into the pot, but you do have the option to have more of like a bay tree. So you would have that obviously much higher. But for this one, I'm going to bring it down much much lower and cover most of that in glue just so you just see a little bit okay so I'm going to find that piece there I'm also just going to add a little bit of I feel it needs a bit of an orange glow it's looking a little bit too yellowy so what I'm going to do is just just kind of go in on the sides a little bit there There you go, just needed a little bit of warmth added to it, okay? Okay, so for some reason I've lost some of my video footage and audio, so all I'm doing now is I'm starting to build everything together. The card is a 6x8, so it's a large card, so I just cut a mat to fit on my 8x6 card and then I start layering everything up so I end up stamping as well on top of this with some gold heat embossing powder and it's it's Christmas from a crafters companion set which I'll show you and yeah just start sticking everything down so I ended up going for the two trees in the end but just so you know why I've just jumped all of a sudden <laughs> So to finish it off, I changed it the title slightly. I've got It's Christmas Time and it's this lovely big stamp here from the Crafter's Companion. It was that set of five that I got and this is the It's Christmas Time. So again, I'll link them below because they are very handy. But yeah, what I've done is I heat embossed it and I've like, it's kind of overlapped onto the top of the door there. In person, it looks really good. It's not really picking up so much on the camera because you have to catch it in the light to see all of it kind of like that that's how I see it more like that it looks really really nice so yeah I'm super pleased with it so it took a bit of time but if you've got the patience <laughs> this special card will be going to somebody special and there's the little scene inside I think I'm going to add some glitter onto the star or something there as well and um, yeah like I said you don't have to have it open you can have it closed with the reef there you don't have to have it as big as I've done it I think I might add something maybe onto these. I'm, I'm going to hold off the snow on this one because even through doing this card, this has just started to go all... Ugh. I mean, there's bits of brown which are turning yellowy now from where I use brown ink. I've got these red bits coming through. It's just a bit of a hot mess now. So I will salvage the picture, but the rest of it I think I'm going to have to dump because maybe I could try and salvage the door, but that's stuck on there. It's just... Yeah, it's just one of those things, isn't it, you know? <laughs> and I need to trim the bottom off because that was too long as well. Yeah, it's just, let's just push that one to one side and we will just look at this lovely one because that's, I think, a lot more pleasing to the eye. So I hope you've liked it. I hope I've inspired you. I will link everything below and um, yeah, look forward. I will be sharing another card with the other door style and um, with the street light this time as well because that one's all ready to go. And uh, you can see how it does all work together really well. So, yeah, I've really enjoyed it nonetheless, even though um, there's been a few mistakes with the other one. So thanks for watching and I'll be back in soon with another tutorial. Bye.